Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Scylla, Horror of the Deep. Few believe that pure evil exists. Scholars claim evil is nothing more than an opposing moral viewpoint. They are wrong. Evil exists, and she waits just beneath the surface of the sea. Scylla, they call her Horror of the Deep. No ship that dares sail in her waters goes unscathed. Those that cling to survival whisper panicked tales of enormous black tentacles tipped with slobbering hound heads ravaging whole ships to splinters with pitiless precision. Though it's her laughter, they say, that's most horrible, childlike, delighting in blood-soaked murder as men are dragged into the dark abyss. Poets have tried to romanticize this beast to provide some humanity to her monstrosity. They write she was once a beautiful naiad, wronged by a jealous priestess and transformed. In truth, she was born this way, beget by gods full of jealousy and loathing, dropped into the sea to terrorize mankind. Would that she had remained in the sea, but evil has come ashore. Dragged by dog-headed tentacles, she roams our streets, plucks us from our beds, and fills the night with disturbing laughter. Scylla has come, and not even the gods can help us. Scylla's passive is called Quick Learner. Each of Scylla's abilities gain an additional effect at maximum rank. Scylla also gains additional magical power for each max rank ability. Her first ability is called Seekum. Scylla sends two hounds forward, damaging, rooting, and crippling the first enemy hit. At max rank, two additional enemies nearby the first target will also be hit. Her second ability is called Crush. Scylla creates a magical field that slows enemies. After a short duration, it detonates and causes damage. Scylla can activate the ability to detonate it early. At max rank, enemies in the area also have their magical protection reduced and are slowed. Scylla's third ability is called Sentinel. Scylla summons her Sentinel, Zoe, to the target area, granting her ward vision for a short duration. Scylla may activate the ability again to move to Zoe's target location. When this ability is not on cooldown, Scylla gains MP5. Scylla's ultimate is called, I'm a Monster. Scylla reveals her true nature, becoming CC immune and gaining movement speed. She may make one powerful attack during this time. If she kills an enemy god with the attack, she may attack again. At max rank, the movement speed bonus doubles. In this first scenario, Scylla attempts to flee from Shonga and Sobic with Sentinel. Turning around, Scylla gets caught by Anubis's Mummify as he casts Plague of Locusts. Retaliating with Seekum and Crush, Scylla dodges Anubis's death gaze long enough to take him down with a few basic attacks. In this second scenario, Scylla takes down Poseidon with I'm a monster. Shifting towards left lane to aid her allied Geb, she strikes down as Cupid flees. Closing the distance with Sentinel, Scylla misses with Seekum as a final crush takes down the God of Love. In this final scenario, Scylla enters a team fight in mid lane. Initiating with a crush, Sentinel, and Seekum combo, she helps take down the enemy Shanga. Activating Sentinel, Scylla moves to Arachne as a few basic attacks take down the Weaver. Moments later, Scylla follows Mercury into battle against Sobek. Teleporting with Sentinel, Scylla connects with Seekum and Crush as the god of the Nile attempts to flee. A final blow with I'm a Monster gets the kill. As the horror of the deep, Scylla mauls down all who dare oppose her. Starting her off with Crush can aid Scylla clearly early game minion waves as well as slow down enemies. Next, picking up Seekum can help Scylla further lock down enemies, aiding her allies, as well as helping her secure the kill. From there, the priorities shift to I'm a Monster, Crush, Seekum, Sentinel. Unbots lands on the battleground with the brand new Space Monkey skin.
Thanks for watching the Smite God Reveal for Scylla Horror of the Deep.